drop will be made tonight, 11 p.m. The amount will be $50 million. $50 million? And who do you think you kidnapped Chelsea Clinton? I think this guy watched too many movies because a Savannah man held hostage. A kidnapper demands $400 ransom for his early release, police say. Now, this is brought to you by the Georgia Gazette. Now, to Champ County, on February 25th, 2023, a man contacted Pooler Police to report that his own son was kidnapped and that the alleged kidnapper demanded a $400 ransom and a text message. Savannah police searched local hotels for the kidnapper and his victim, according to reports. What, 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 Juwan, what? I'm not saying that. We're going to call him dumb nigga, because how the fuck you kidnapping somebody for $400? I'm sorry if that offends y'all, but this is a dumb nigga. So, we're not even going to say his name. We're just going to call him dumb nigga today. Now, this dumb nigga was 35 years old, was detained by use of force by Savannah police after the victim vehicle was located at a deluxe inn on the Geechee Road, leading officers to the suspect. Dumb nigga was taken to Memorial Hospital due to the use of force. Okay, let's read a little bit more. The victim's father called Pooler Police to report that his son borrowed his car without permission. Gotta listen to your father, man. And did not return it. The man said he received a text message from his son's phone demanding $400 for a ransom and instructions to send the ransom through Cash App. The kidnapper reportedly told the father to meet at the Savannah Gardens Inn to retrieve his son. Officers searched the Gardens Inn and the surrounding area for the missing vehicle, a black Ford Fusion. After failing to locate the missing car at the Garden Inn, officers checked a nearby Deluxe Inn that matched a description given by the victim's father of the hotel his son often visited. The vehicle was located and the suspect was spotted leaving his room and detained. Now, dumb nigga was charged with armed robbery, kidnapping, aggravated assault, false imprisonment, burglary, possession of a weapon during a crime, possession of a weapon by convicted felon, obstruction and possession of methamphetamine. So he was on that shit. Uh, it does have a narrative. I'm going to read a good bit of it just to let y'all get a little bit bit of an understanding. Uh, a police officer was dispatched to 3820 Ogeechee Road, Savannah Gardens Inn, in regards to an officer assist call. Notes indicates a pool of police officer believe an individual is possibly being held for ransom at this location. Based on the call notes, I, close, I chose to stage my unit at A-Town Wings. That's on 17. Believe this to be a potential hostage situation. I made contact with Officer Ferguson. Um, Officer Ferguson advised me at a male identified as Witness 1 had allowed his son, Victim 1, to use his vehicle, a 2010 Black Fort Fusion, Georgia Tag. He stated that the victim then later took the vehicle once again without his permission. Uh, witness... Uh, the witnesses that uh, then later advised that he had received a text from his son's phone later that day demanding $400 via cash up for his safely return. Now, Officer Ferguson contacted the our department because the individual requested money for a safe return requesting to meet at the Savannah Gardens Inn. Assisting officers conducted a search of the Savannah Gardens Inn parking lot for a black Ford Fusion. The victim was last known to be reportedly driving. The victim was not located. Officer Ferguson then described a one-story inn with two-story hotel behind that. Uh, the victim is also known to be frequent to run around. In this, I, I recognize this description to be matching that of the 3680 Okichi Road budget deluxe inn. Assistant officers conducted a sweep of the Deluxe Inn and Budget Inn parking areas and located the Black Fort Fusion. Assistant officers took over the coordination investigation surrounding the rooms and occupants of the Deluxe Inn that were in the proximity of the vehicle. While attempting to gather more information, a male, later identified as Dumb Nigga, exited a room suspected to be involved 
with the incident, assistant officers then attempted to detain dumb nigga. And during an investi investigative uh, stop resulting in a use of force to which I was not involved in. Mr. Dumb Nigga was placed into handcuffs and search incident to an arrest by existing uh, assisting officers. Um, and they just pretty much he was transported to Memorial Hospital because of the use of force. And then he was transported to Cham County Lockup. But there's a lot of flaws in this story. For one, you know, why why do you know that your kid is, or teenager, I, I'm assuming this is a teenage boy, why does, why do you know that this kid is going to a hotel? What business does he have going to this hotel? Because it says in the story that he's frequent and going to this hotel, so it doesn't make sense to me as a parent, why would you have your kid, knowing that he's going to this hotel like you didn't question that like you didn't say hey maybe you shouldn't be at this hotel you know what i'm saying like and i don't know how old the child is i i assume that it's a teenager because if he's allowed to drive but and number two i gotta give a big l to this dumb piece of crap how the fuck do you Kidnap somebody over four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. I mean, that's not that's not no money. That won't pay your rent. Hell, you can't even buy a PS Five for that. Four hundred dollars. Like, what was the significance of four hundred dollars? Four hundred funky fucking dollars. Your ass in jail. Your ass still in jail, more than likely, for kidnapping. Aggravated assault, like that's really insane to throw your life away for four hundred dollars. Come on, man, that is really fucking stupid. I do have a deeper take than this. I feel like this is not this is just speculation. I feel like the guy, well, the victim. Knew this, knew this dude, dumb nigga, and maybe he was in on it too as part of the finesse, the finesse is that. I don't know. It, it could be that. I'm just assuming, like, how was he lured into going there? Did he actually know this dude? Was he, did he know of the dude? I, it just, it's a lot of interpretation that could be interpreted by this by this story but four hundred dollars man you can get that in half a week at your job depending on what job you got four hundred dollars stupid fucking retarded but let me know what y'all guys think man do you think that this guy is i mean of course he's retarded and i don't really mean that literally but i think he's i don't think he got his head all the way together but who you think is ultimately wrong the kid that actually stole the car or this guy this piece of shit let me know take care of yourself and stay blessed